<laughs> Today we're going to be checking out yet another Sony TV. And let me tell you, I am not getting sponsored by Sony, obviously, because they do not make TVs like this anymore. Unfortunately, some of you ask me, how is it possible that the latest and greatest TV from Sony today have worse motion than their old TVs? It, it just doesn't make any sense. But it is not only Sony. It seems like it was an industry trend to drop 3D and just forget about motion clarity altogether. I don't know what happened, but it was a terrible idea. And that's why we are still today looking, scrolling through the used market to find TVs like this that have good motion. Okay. And on the previous video, I show you a TV that has absolutely insane motion clarity at just 60 FPS. That TV looks like a CRT. It's like a gigantic CRT, 47 inches. And the input lag is, was absolutely amazing. Actually, I didn't mention it, but it, it was fantastic, okay? And I'm sorry, I'm going to cover that TV again in another video to show you that. So now, some of you ask me, well, how about you know, this model and this other model? I don't know. And you cannot go just blind to the used market and just find you know, whatever, because you're not going to get the same experience. For example, this TV, read the title of this video, because I don't remember the model. It doesn't have as good of motion clarity. So the motion clarity, is, is okay, but it has a lot of trailing artifacts. So when you move, you see you know, like four images trailing behind and it looks very, very ugly. But mainly, the, the main issue of this TV is the input lag. It's absolutely horrendous. On the previous video, I didn't mention that, but that's actually one of the reasons why I got so excited about it because it looks very clear in motion and the input lag is very good. But on this one, as you can see here, see how, how, how long it takes. Now, keep in mind, yeah, so that the animation here is, is very slow, but still, look at this. It's like, papa. <laughs> it's like yesterday. And it is because we have this clear motion setting not available on game mode. And on the other TV, it was available in game mode. So that's a big deal. So when you go through a used market, I would highly recommend you to just you know, go online, you know, do some, some research. And if you can, of course, test the TV yourself because you might just buy uh, trash. <laughs> Okay, because a 60 hertz, 1080p LCD TV is, is for the most part trash, unless it has great input lag and great motion clarity. Uh, it's very difficult to, to save that LCD technology, which is not, not very, very good. Uh, you, you're not going to get the colors of a plasma TV and it's just not worth it. You're just gonna carry with something that's, that's not it's not going to give you a great experience. Now, you might get it for free or you might get it for like $30 or something like that. And you just need another TV and you're building a budget gaming PC or something like that. Yeah, go for it. Uh, it's better if it has this feature that I'm going to, I'm going to show you here. Definitely. But you know, you, you want to have that feature available in game mode and here on this TV, it's not available. Uh, maybe there is a hack or something I can do, uh, but yeah, for now, this, this doesn't work in game mode. But we have a bunch of settings. We have this clear plus, which looks very clear in motion, but you have a lot of ghosting. A lot, a lot, a lot of ghosting. I can see it on the content, very clear, and with a UFO test, the ghosting is atrocious. But we have this clear which is still good in motion, it's a lot brighter. We have some ghosting, but I would say it's a good compromise uh, if you want a brighter image. We have this standard, which is still 
much better than sample and hold, uh, but it's brighter. So it is basically a less aggressive, uh, you know, backlight strobing. And then we have this smooth, which really, in terms of brightness, it's not a big difference. And then we have off. So actually, this is very good because between off and smooth and standard, it's not a big difference in brightness, but the motion is, is, is very, very, very uh, different. If you have it off, this just looks horrendous. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> okay? That's how bad 60 hertz sample and hold is. It's just unusable, in my opinion. It, it's just terrible, terrible. But when you do this, well, let me just not go that aggressive. If I just do this to standard, boom, it's smooth. This big difference. Big, big difference. So, yeah, it's like different levels. Now, the other, the previous TV that I show you also has these options, but not in game optimizer mode. So, in game mode, I'm used to the LG TVs. <laughs> so, in game mode, you only have one, one option. So, I, I'm definitely going to check out the other options uh, on that TV and also I haven't been using it because I've been you know very busy but my family have been have been using that TV and you know when I go in and I see what they're watching even movie content just regular you know 30 FPS uh, content looks surprisingly good in motion so of course you know my opinion 30 FPS absolutely sucks <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it. but it's looking surprisingly good so i am definitely going to check out to see what's going on with the motion on that tv i believe so far that sony just knocked it out of the park on that tv this one not so good but this was also a much cheaper tv and it is older too this is an older tv than the one that i show you so what can be your takeaway from this video just don't go and run just buy you know any old sony tv because you might get trashed okay make sure you do your research i posted actually i pinned a comment in the previous video with the list of blur busters um like a, a list that they posted on the blur, blur busters forums with some of the best uh, Sony TVs when it comes to this motion flow feature. And this one, they advertise motion flow 400. Um, and again, it is clear, even at 960 pixels per second, um, but it is it has a lot of ghosting. So this, this TV is not on that list, okay? So it seems like that list is only for the 480, uh, motion flow 480, which is basically saying that they are trying to make it look as good as 480 hertz sample and hold. And I actually believe it's better than that. On that TV that I showed you the other day, it's actually better than that because it does have some ghosting, but it's only like one ghost at the trailing edge, when you're looking at the UFO test, that is very faint. Uh, and then it has another one, but it's almost invisible. In the middle and the bottom, and just at the top, you see also another faint ghost at the leading edge of the UFO test. But it's so good that actually I don't care. But this one, I do care. You see like four you know, UFO tests, like four ghosts behind the, the object, and it just doesn't look great. And yeah, this TV is not on that list. So go back to that video. I'm going to link that video in the description of this one. And read the comment that I pinned that has a list of monitors of TVs, of these Sony TVs that have that you know, motion flow 480. And I would highly recommend you to make sure that the one you're going to buy has this feature available in game mode with the lowest uh, input lag possible, okay? And also there are some 4K Sony TVs with this feature that are a lot more modern. So definitely go for that. I've Actually, I've been trying to find uh, one of those, but they used to be very, very expensive, okay? So even today, 
you might not be able to get those for very cheap but maybe i'm trying to find them i think i saw one for like a thousand dollars and there's no way i'm <laughs> paying a thousand dollars for an lcd tv it doesn't matter how good the motion is um just the contrast is not it's not good enough um it's, it's very very hard for me to go back to lcd but yeah that tv that i showed you last 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 time is very special very special because you know let's say that you know gta 6 comes out and it is just horrendously optimized and my pc can barely run that it doesn't matter <laughs> because i can just play that at 60 fps 1080p and it looks like a crt in motion so i basically i do not need to upgrade my pc ever <laughs> almost with that tv and that's a that's a very that's that's very very nice okay I, I, of course i'm going to upgrade anyway but just to have that feeling that okay yeah this just looks so good i don't need the horsepower to run any games a anymore um so yeah. let me know your thoughts and opinions if you have any questions i'm going to cover that tv that i showed you last time more in depth because i think it is a special I cannot have it side by side with this one because of you know, logistics. I also have another TV <laughs> to check out. Um, it is actually absolutely massive. Okay, it's the biggest TV I've ever played on. And yeah, that video will be coming soon. Uh, I also have a C3 available for review, but I mean the C3, is it doesn't have anything uh, different really is a little bit brighter than the C1 when it comes to uh, APL the average picture brightness so I mean to have my C1 side by side with that C3 uh, okay uh, C3 is a little bit brighter there's nothing else to talk about the settings are the same mostly the same the, the menus are a little bit uh, different from the C2 C3 but yeah I don't think that that even makes any I, I don't think I'm interested in that I am more interested though to check out the 3d on these TVs on the, that TV I showed you last time and this one too this one has 3d and this is supposed to work like right now I can come here 3d and I can change this 3d display to like over and under for example boom and it's just gonna change uh, everything and it should work if I use these glasses um, I don't know how well it's gonna work and actually nobody can tell me here because these glasses are brand new they've never been used the the packaging is is close <laughs> this is brand new 3d glasses from Sony and remember, I also have that 3D uh, package uh, prototype that I got for review. I haven't had time to check that to make it justice because I have to work with uh, you know with the setup and the programs. It's it's not very easy for me right now to check it out because I'm very busy. Um, but I will definitely check that out as soon as I can. You see, you can simulate 3D here. This is probably the best. Uh, and then you just come, use your glasses, and you get 3D simulated out of any content. That's what that uh, prototype is for on the PC. Uh, well, actually, it, it works with the with a specific uh, player for video content, not for games. Uh, at least so. That's what I know so far. But yeah, I have to check that out uh, more when I have a chance. Let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.